Let's go ahead and take that from the top. What up? The Mac Pack are back, and that's a fact, Jack. Okay, you get it. The last Friday, Star Wars and Fortnite bring their collaboration back once again, and we're loving it. There's the Bowcaster, you can get Chewbacca, there's the Blaster that you can get from the Stormtroopers, and of course, you can get Darth Vader's lightsaber. But there's one main problem. There's only one lightsaber, and I have two kids that both want it. So I have to do what every parent has to do, and that's pick the kid I like best to get the lightsaber. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. We have to compromise and we have to share. We're going to play two games here and attempt to get the lightsaber in both. We get it. Jackson's going to get it the first game and then Hunter will get it in the second game. We drop in. Let's see how we do. We know that this is typically a pretty hot area. We're not the only team that's going to want to go and get the lightsaber. So we try to get a gun pretty quickly here. We make quick work of this guy. His partner is right here. Shotguns, kind of booty cheeks right now. These shotguns. Hey, we get water bending and we get a quick three eliminations, a squad wipe, and we can move on to try and go get Vader. I will say this, I think out of all of the bosses, the gods, the ones that you can fight, I do think Darth Vader is the most difficult um, to, to kill. Um, obviously, he's going to use the force. When he throws that lightsaber, it's pretty annoying because if it doesn't hit you, when he throws it on the way back, if you're still in its path, uh, it can hit you as well. So, But fortunately, we've got all three of us here taking shots at Darth Vader, and he goes down. We're going to take care of these stormtroopers. And then Jackson now has Darth Vader's lightsaber. Since Darth Vader always starts off close to Lavish Lair, that seems to always be our rotation that we go to. We get Darth Vader's lightsaber. Then we head to Lavish Lair. Kind of looking to see if Artemis is still around. We do find another opponent. He was just a solo. Take a quick work of him. And it doesn't look like Artemis is around anymore. Somebody must have already gotten her. So we're going to move on ahead. We head over towards Grim Gate. We still like to try and go take on the gods, get their mythics, get their medallions. Oh, no. We take a little fall damage here as we're going after somebody. All right. The m and skin is down. Oh, no. There's Korra right there. We're getting a little bit low, but we get the two knocks that we need, and we're going to heal up. Let's see. There should be the third teammate somewhere around here. Jackson has made it towards me. So we got a little bit of help just in case we need to go ahead and just in case we fight that other person. Oh, it's like there they are. Jack. Oh, no. Jackson goes down. Sometimes we miss with that bow caster and I don't really know how, but we switch to the waterbender. We get it. There's another three kills and we're going to go ahead and pick up Jackson. He still has the lightsaber. Anytime that island pops up, both Jackson and Hunter love going there. So we're heading over there. And as we do, it looks like we see some people fighting those guards. And we're going to get an easy kill right there. Those are the guards. The ones that, uh, the minions that drop the key. That way you can see where the future circles are going to be. So we'll go ahead. We'll take out that guy. We'll get the key to see the future circles. And then we'll try to make our way to that island finally. There's only nine other players left. So just a few teams. Now, this is where I do probably a poor job of not sticking with us, maybe being a little bit too aggressive and trying to push teams on my own. I know that there's people over here by where these other minions could be. So I want to try and get on top of this hill so I could get height advantage and shoot down on them as they are just right down here. I'm going to go ahead and take a look at that chest. Yes, they're right there. We have the bowcaster out. These guys have some decent shots. We're already down to 61 health. So here is where I should have waited for both Hunter and Jackson to come with me. Looks like they're in already a fight of their own up on that island. This guy is pushing. He's pretty aggressive. We're going to have to push back just a little bit. But now at this point, Hunter is trying to rotate over to help me. I've kind of left him out to dry as now he's taking on that whole team by himself. So 
my bad, hunt dog. Uh, I should have waited for you, and then I should not have left you once you were heading up there. So, unfortunately, Hunter is down, um, but we're going to try and go and avenge him and, and, and see if we can. Yeah, there's Jackson. He's knocked as well. So, it's one on three here. We need to get a few knocks if we can. Uh, we beam that guy up just a little bit. We're going to go ahead and reposition, see if we can find some shield, get full health back up at it. Got a good little spot here. If we can hit something with this bow caster, it would be nice. Again, some of these, like, these are just missing. I don't, I don't really understand it sometimes, but huh, we are not, there we go. We finally get a hit here. Hunter's yelling at me to switch to water because he's like, you're not, you're not hitting this guy. And you know what? He's probably right. As we have only hit them one time out of, I don't know, almost 20. Oh, there's another hit finally. Both kids are down once again. 24, that guy is close to being completely down. Another 24. I think Hunter was right. I should have switched to the water a little while ago. We tried the bow caster. We know we've got that guy pretty hurt, so we're going to try and go back up on that mountain once again to get height advantage. If we can get one guy knocked, um, I like our chances here. All right, Bowcaster hits one time there. Here's another hit. That guy has the chain of Hades. I don't think those reach out quite that far. Man, these guys do have some decent shots. They've taken quite a bit of my health. There is the storm. So we're going to hit this launch pad. Just launch up out of here. Uh, I thought of, uh, for a second for trying to go take them on, but I've only got 84 health. We've got no shield, but we're just going to go ahead. We can probably stop in, get Jackson's card. Now let's see if we can get a revive. After we successfully get Jackson back, we make our way over to this. I always called this place the warehouse. I don't really know if it's got a name. Uh, we find a little bit of splashes there to get us some more shield. Now it looks like there's just four players left. So there's probably, probably two teams of two left with us. Okay. The bowcaster is actually hitting this guy. Gotten a few hits on this guy. I'm making sure there's nobody behind us. Jackson is down low. I don't know if he's actually shooting at this guy, but he may be distracting him. This guy is still up there. He's going to push down. We can get him to push over to us. I think he has to because of the storm. We should have this guy just because of good positioning. Bowcaster. Okay, we shot that too high. We give up. We give up the bowcaster. And we get the water bending out. Now we get a kill. Now it is just 2v2. We quickly make our way over here, trying to get good positioning with the storm. Here are the last two players. They have to run to us down in this little valley. I don't even know why I tried to mess with that bow caster. The water bending is still OP and still the play, play to use here. We've got the one knock. This guy is still alive. Looks like he's hiding behind that tree. Gonna try ahead and get rid of his cover. He's gonna run out. We use the blaster, which I, I, you know it is what it is. It's okay. This guy uses the wings, but the water bending is just too OP. And there we get the kills. We get the win. Jackson with the lightsaber. Now it's Hunter's turn to start this game off. There's actually not another team around here to challenge us for the lightsaber, so we just need to take out Darth Vader and his stormtroopers. We've already found water bending, so has Hunter. So this should be pretty easy. Jackson being a little bit selfish since he couldn't get the lightsaber since it's Hunter's turn. He did not come with us and he is already downed. So after we've taken care of these, which we just did, we now need to go and get Jackson and Ruba. Now, lucky for Jackson, he's not too far away, just over at Lavish Lair. As we head over there, we do see some footsteps. This guy is up in this. Yes, he's hiding over here. All right, in the kitchen. We just killed you. We just killed in the kitchen. Looks like you're in the bedroom. There's one kill to start the game. I do like that they've added in the wings of Icarus, especially now that the airbending is gone. You need a way to quickly get around the map. I need to go and get Jackson's card. And we get this guy who was still around. I see some shooting. I don't know if they're taking on the... Stormtroopers are not. There's another kill. And should be the third and final guy. 
right here. There we go. So now we've got four eliminations pretty quick off the rip here. Jackson's card. Uh, we've already got him back yet. Yeah, I picked up his card. So now we just need the revive. Oh, in previous videos, I've talked a lot about how if you're wanting to find somebody, always go to fencing fields. But this area, too, always seems to be a hot spot just outside Lavish Lair, up towards where those minions are that guard the vault. And sure enough, here's a team here. Now they have Chewbacca. Chewbacca is pretty OP as well, especially, um, you know, he's free. All you have to do is go and save him right off the rip from the Stormtroopers. Uh, and he's actually very useful. Chewbacca did a lot of damage there to us. We were able to get the kill, though. I'm pretty low on health, uh, but we're going to go ahead and move forward as we get another knock there. It looks like there's still people up on the hill. As we take this shield, they don't see us, so we're going to get our bowcaster out. The guy's just going to be one shot. There's another guy up on the very tippy top, 132. He's got no shield. Hunter and Jackson take care of it. Now we have 11 kills as a team and we get to move on. At this point in the game, it's all about just trying to go and find as many people as you can to get them out of the lobbies. So that way there's not that many people left in the end game. We run up on two teams fighting here. We're able to get a third party elimination. We now have nine kills. And there's just about 25 players remaining in the lobby. Hunter and Jackson have pretty much stayed around the lavish layer area. And they themselves have a few kills. It looks like they're in a fight right here. That guy's got a some sort of a sniper, maybe a DMR. Okay, kind of feel a little bit bad there. Foot barn. We kind of stole the kill from Hunter or Jackson there. But hey, it's a team game, right? We have 17 as a team. So these two are doing pretty good. What do you know? The island has appeared. Hunter's got that marked. We're trying to make our way over to that island, but I see some shooting. We're going to go ahead and again, try to third party. Guy coming up this hill right here. Man, water bending in three or four hits takes this guy out. Let's see. I don't think those are the people that we saw shooting. No, it's not. They're down here just below us. Yep, right here. At that point, I don't even really know who I'm shooting at. I'm just kind of spraying and praying. That guy's got a sniper, though. Hopefully he doesn't hit us. Hit us just once there. Okay, the bow cat. I, I keep trying, I keep trying. But uh, when in doubt, I go back to the water bending. Now, wow. Looks like this lobby has died out pretty quickly. There are only five players left. When the lobby dies out pretty quickly, but the circle is still rather large, it can be pretty difficult uh, you've got to stay locked in as you're running around. You don't want to get, I don't know, you, want to, you don't want to get caught lacking here, but we're just looking for the last few teams. It's like we have two guys in here. Water bending takes out Mr. Owner. Should be one guy left. Switch to the SMG. That burst SMG. One of my favorite up close guns. I've actually preferred using that gun rather than shotguns as of late. Uh, as you can see, five players left with three of those being us. So you do the math. It's only two players left. We go ahead and we get a bounty, just a free UAV. See who is left. It looks like they are two solos though. So I swear. So I'm running, I think the bounty's over here. Right, there's somebody back over here. We're going to run over there. Just need to make sure that Hunter and Jackson are okay. You never know. The one solo could be pretty good. Okay, Hunter takes out that guy. And now we just have the one guy left. And that is our bounty. Not to get too cocky here, but we feel pretty confident. Hunter's got the lightsaber. I've got a pretty good loadout. We're going to try and snipe this guy or the win. And there you have it. Jackson got a win with the lightsaber. Hunter gets a win with the lightsaber. We go two for two, and the Mac Pack are once again victors. A victory royale. That, that's a good way to end. All right, peace.